What's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123, and in this video I've got another lens for you. So basically, I wanted to uh, get a lens that would give me a, a really good kind of all-rounder lens, something I could just stick on the camera, have only one lens with me, and it would give me some good focal length, and also some good depth of field um, with a fast shutter speed and a good aperture. So first of all, I looked at the Tamron, I think it's the 17 to 50 uh, f2.8, and then I saw this one, which is the uh, Sigma 17 to 17, f2.8 to 4 HSM DC macro OS so the reason I went for this one was because it's got a little bit more focal length not quite as good on the aperture a little bit slower when you've when you're zoomed in a little bit more but still f2.8 at the 17 millimeter end and, and f4 is still good as well even when you're zoomed out and this one gives you just that little bit more focal length than the Tamron and also this one's got um, optical uh, stabilization as well which I think is quite a nice thing to have especially when you're doing uh, videos. Now you can pick this lens up I believe brand new for about £280. This one in particular I actually found on eBay brand new for £199 which was an absolute bargain delivered next day as well with, with free delivery so you know these things are out there to be found. Now obviously my one is for the Nikon camera and what I'm going to do is we're just going to check this out uh, on the D7000 but let's just have a look at what we get in the box first. I'll just give you a close up of the box there just so you can see exactly what one it is. So like I said, 17 to 70, f2.8 to 4, so the aperture does change as you're zooming in. And let's just see what we get here in the box. So, a whole load of instructions, mainly in Japanese and whatnot. I'm guessing that's the warranty information as well. And then uh, we're straight into the lens. Shame Sigma don't put uh, as much effort into the packaging as Nikon do with the nice gold, but anyway. So here we go, here's the lens guys. Ooh, feels really heavy. I don't know why we still associate heaviness with good quality, but we do. And uh, yeah, straight away it feels fantastic quality. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of. It does look like plastic, but maybe it's not. Really, really nice, smooth, professional feeling action there on the on the uh, zoom. And also, let's check out. Let's just chuck it into manual. Not quite so nice on the focus, but still very, very smooth. A little bit more plasticky on the focus. We got the lens hood there as well. Let's just flip that around. There we go. Nice fitting lens hood actually. I don't know what kind of coating that's got, but it feels nice, not that that's important. And there we go, that's the lens itself. So let's just come around this side. We've got our distances there. We've also got a lock button if we want to actually lock it into 17 millimeter, I believe that's for. And then round on the other side, uh, we've got our autofocus manual focus switch and then we've also got the optical stabilization that we can turn on and off. If I just zoom it here, there we go, you can see the kind of length that it goes to when it's zoomed out right the way at 70 and then straight away back in at 17. So actually not a huge lens when it's in at 17 but the, the zoom is something that, that protrudes rather than being built into the lens so it does get that little bit bigger when you're, when you're kind of zooming into your subject. Let's just take a close up there of the writing on the actual lens itself. It does feel really heavy. It's got kind of just a really nice feel to it for some reason. I don't know why, because it is plastic, but it definitely has a nice feel to it. So I've got the 40 millimeter uh, that I did a video on not so long ago on there at the moment. And you can kind of see the difference there, bearing in mind we've got the little cap on the end. So not, not a huge amount of this difference when you're in at 17, but you know, obviously when it goes out to the 70 end of the thing, then it does get a little bit bigger. But anyway, let's take off the uh, the 40 mil and chuck on the 17 to 70. Let's just take the cap off, chuck that on the, on the 40 mil for now. Line up with Sigma the red dot to the white dot. And there we go. We're on there. So that's on the D7000 massive bit of glass there at the end you can see it in there and one of the things that I really like about the Sigma lenses is they've got the HSM motor which I think is something like hypersonic which is supposed to be really quiet so let's just take a little listen I've got the wireless microphone on here when we're focusing in and see how noisy it is bearing in mind that I'm literally right on top of the microphone here so the, the lens is moving 
and it literally is virtually silent. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is virtually completely silent, really, really quiet, which is nice. Let's just see how quick it is to focus. Bang, done. Very, very quick on the focus. I think probably a little bit faster than the prime lenses uh, that Nikon supply. Let's just uh, take a little picture here so we can get some idea of what the macro functionality is like. So I'll zoom in on my keyboard and I'll get really close to it as well. I don't think this is, oh, you can see I've literally just banged into it there. That's how close I am. And we're still getting a focus as well. So let's just take a shot of that. There we go. Yeah, that really is quite close. I'm zoomed right the way in there. Let's see what it's like with it with the it out at 17. Here we go. So another thing that I really liked about this over and above the Tamron was the fact that it's got the macro functionality as well. Now it's not true macro. I don't think it does one to one, but at least it allows you to get in really tight to whatever you're taking a photo of or a video of. And especially when you're doing the kind of videos that I do for YouTube and you want to get nice and tight in on the, on the product, this really does help. Whereas I think the Tamron lens, you've got to be a little bit further away. Let's just chuck the blue microphone up here and let's get an idea of the bokeh. So first of all, we'll do it right the way in. God, that focuses so quickly. Do that right the way in at 70. Bang, really nice bokeh on there. Now let's just get right the way back out and we'll come in tight on that at 17. Still some nice bokeh. It's not as compressed, obviously, as when you go out to 70, but you know, straight in there at 2.8, you're still gonna get some really nice blurriness, some really nice depth of field. More interesting was how nice it was right the way out at um, 70 when the aperture goes up to, to uh, f4 and still getting some really fantastic shallow depth of field there. So at some stage I'll get out and about with this lens and I'll try and get out and about with the 40mm as well from Nikon, the 40mm macro and um, get some of that. But hopefully that's given you some insight to the, uh, the 17 to 70. Sounds like it's got a really quick focus. The hypersonic motor seems really nice. Optical stabilization. The pictures, as far as I can see here on the uh, camera, look extremely sharp, but I'll chuck some full HD versions of those up in the video and you can, you can have a look at those. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Happy Christmas to all of you, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.